Yo, so first episode of YouTube, because it's been way too long. I did say I was going to start it like ages ago, but to be fair, I've just been focusing on, on building flip physiques. Um, so that's where my priorities have been, but it's in a really good position now. And like, I do want to invest a lot more time into the content side, as you've probably seen with like Insta, TikTok, but obviously YouTube's going to be the next big thing for me. So we're down here in Gloucester today. Um, photo shoot for my client at Jake at four o'clock. Um, so we've got three hours now I'm with Joe. Joe's going to be doing the YouTube. So we've got like three hours to get a big push session in, maybe a Nando's, and then we'll be back and you'll see, you'll see a little insight into Jake's photo shoot um, behind the scenes and obviously, you know, where he's come from. So I'll actually put an image here now of like where he started in his journey. So he came to me from like, he's been dieting basically all year, but just really struggled getting into condition. He said to me for ages, like, I'm just not getting into condition. So I was like, mate, let's get you into some sick condition over 12 weeks and then we'll start putting you through an off season. So obviously we implemented structure um, and you'll see the sort of sick condition he's in today. Yo, so we're in the gym and we've got a push session coming up. It's freezing, right? So the one tip I would give you is get a pre-workout in, a pump. My issue is, this is the inside of my pre-workout in there. And it's got to get in here. I always make this mistake as well, like an absolute idiot, like trying to get it in. <laughs> I literally do this every time as well. Like I never bring a funnel, like who owns a funnel? There we go. And then you just brush it off. But yeah, push session. I'm on week four out of five on a training block now. So that means zero reps in reserve. So we're training to complete mechanical failure. Um, so training's getting pretty tough. Volume is very high. Um, so we're gonna put Joe through his paces today. Get nice and warm. I'm gonna probably put my hoodie back on now before we train, because um, I hate being cold. My joints always get a bit achy. But yeah, we're gonna go crack on. You'll see a little bit of an insight into it anyway, um, but a nice tough session. So me and Joe are both running on about four and a half, five hours sleep. But do you know what? To be fair, feel energized as well. I think like when it's cold, you just feel fresh, don't you? But effectively, this place is where we're gonna be doing the photo shoot later. So it's pretty sick to be fair. I've come, you know, I've come here before. I've had Sam Fu, um, Sam Fulthorpe is his full name. Um, but like we had a shoot here last, early in August and he smashed it, it looked sick. Um, so I'm back here with Jake. Um, I've not actually trained here, it's pretty good though. It's like old school. Um, so we're gonna get, obviously get into this session. At the minute we're just, we're just warming up on, a, on an incline press, but I'll give you a few little insights into kind of what I always work on through a push session. So like through this press movement, my main focus to everyone is we want to actually hit the chest. We don't just want to hit your delts right and focusing on pressing weight. So I always feel like when I'm pressing, my shoulders stay dug back and down into the bench. I'm driving up, getting that squeeze in my chest while my shoulders stay pinned back. And then as I retract back now, shoulders are digging back again. And I want to consciously feel my chest fibers lengthening. I don't just want to feel me bringing my arms in, right? I want to feel my chest lengthen, get it to a lengthened position, and then drive forward and get that squeeze here. Far too often, what I'll see is like a movement where someone's gonna pull back fine, but then they're just flying the shoulders forward, the chest is relaxed, like always focus on tension, being in the chest, and then getting it to stay there throughout. But not that you're gonna see a chest today because it's freezing. Myself 
That was literally the coldest gym session of my life, right? But who cares? Chris Fernando's now. Um, so boneless platter, thighs, breast, broccoli, pure salted chips, grains, garlic bread, halloumi. Um, what have you got? Half a chicken. Half a chicken, rice, chips, garlic bread, halloumi. We're both flying the food in. I've actually lost weight this week and I'm now up at 650 carbs or something like that. Um, so, you know, off plan meal it is Nando's. Not the best one, but we're gonna be eating out later as well um, after Jake's shoot. So we'll go get him warmed up in literally half an hour, um, get some sick shots of him, and then I'll obviously show you behind the scenes there, but let's go. So just flown back from Nando's. Obviously it's time for Jake's shoot now. Um, so he's just getting a, his first few sort of shots now, just warming up. I feel so sorry for him to be fair, because. Obviously one, it's freezing in here today, but he's had to do the whole prep at this time of year, which is tough. Um, you know, it's cold during the day, it's cold on nights, dark weather. Um, but obviously this is his time to shine now. And obviously we're gonna be straight back into a push phase after this. So he's gonna enjoy a big feed tonight and then a bit more food from next week. Right, enjoy your first bite, bro. Right, let's go. <laughs> Yo, so we've just had five guys. What have you got? Uh, what did you a, get? A double bacon cheeseburger, a grilled cheese and chips, and an Oreo milkshake. And you're still <laughs> starving. <Yeah. laughs> Do you know what, though? You will be for like, Three weeks, I'm saying. Yeah, 100%. When I came out of my photo shoot, I was starving for ages, but he's gonna have like, you're gonna have what? Tomorrow, eating whatever you want. Yeah. You've got the next weekend with pretty much whatever you want. And then you've got like, you're gonna have some structure out here then. Like, obviously we're gonna reverse him back out and then we're into an off season, so. Big off season. From the start, the whole purpose were, we were just gonna get him ready for um, an off season really. But we were like, let's just get some photo shoot images in before we push up, because you said you just wanted to feel like truly lean, didn't you? Yeah, nice starting point. So, you know, we'll do, a, we'll do an off season and then we'll get him prepped back down and we can kind of compare from there, but he's done sick, mate. Yeah, lovely stuff, man. I'm happy. very happy, very Racing. happy. Learned a lot throughout this process, for sure. So guys, sick day boxed off. Obviously, we said goodbye to Jake. Like, obviously he's absolutely smashed this whole process. Like. Go and actually check him out on Instagram, JK Physique. Uh, I think his main account's Jake Andrews. And like, obviously look at his journey. Like he's come from 20 stone and he's, he's now weighing like 11 stone. So like his, his transformation is absolutely like out of this planet. Um, and it just goes to show, you know, anything. Don't just be too obsessed with where you are right now and this long-term goal, which doesn't seem, you know, possible. It is possible. Just focus on those daily tasks and have that structure invest in yourself maybe with the coach and you can you can achieve anything you are limitless honestly um but obviously now we're on our way home getting in the water a lot of sodium today obviously we've having two big off-plan meals but we wanted to join jake um for his off-plan meal post post shoot um and we're back to it now so i'm back into routine got some setups to do this evening and then straight back to it but regarding the content side of things obviously this is youtube video one um First of many, we're gonna try and keep to like a Sunday evening post. Um, so obviously just check out my channel, go like, go subscribe. And um, we're gonna be investing a lot into this as well as Instagram and TikTok. Um, and we'll take it up to that next level. So I'll see you soon.